Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, y'all. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to this crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me start by just saying, those of y'all who have drank the Kool-Aid of Donald Trump, I, you know, I really feel sorry for you because you, you're not very rational. Not saying that Joe Biden is a good, uh, you know, replacement because no outdated old white men, oh, especially old white men that are thinking like that can represent America anymore. However, there's a diehard group of revoltists <laughs> that continue to promote this crazy thing as if um, he's legitimate. He was illegitimate in the first place. And so one thing I cannot stand is agent provocateurs or people who lead my people to the slaughter. You know, people like Angela Stanton uh, and people who uh, tell you Ice Cube at this point. I mean, I know you're not going to like what I say. When I seen all the Ice Cube people having a relationship with O'Bannon, I'm done with all. It, it's this this spider web is so deep with um with uh people like Sharpton. Y'all quick to get on him, uh, but you got a new wave of Sharptons coming up. These this Michi X and uh, anytime you run with somebody who is a known provocateur or because they got a few bucks from uh, Donald Trump. Now he's all good with his January 6th choir. Who have ever heard of something so insane? I mean, all the sane and rational people out there, you need to stand up. And if you are uh, uh, Adolf or um, a person that calls themselves a, um, a, a fundamental black American, whatever you call yourself. And if this right here, you, we the only ones walking the line <laughs> of fair politics. But the biggest problem that we have is people in our community that are willing to take dollars to lead us astray. And we're too um, elementary minded and we don't know civics and we don't understand politics, and these people just come and take advantage of you. So I would suggest anybody that's talking about resurrection and um, doing stuff for the black community, um, I mean, is it a, a charlatan type of relationship? A relationship like with uh, Tariq, where he drains money out of the black community? Okay, and so since we see ourselves as, and we, it's hard for um, the, us to see ourselves without the, without the clan of us, you know, the, the, I mean, in other words, not to, not to clue Cuck's clan, but the clan mentality, then whatever happens to us, we, you know, is, is really our own doing. We're perpetually miserable, just like Willie Lynch said we would be if we would have those uh, components implemented on us. But any sane and rational person that would vote for somebody, now they got a January 6th choir. So no matter how you feel about politics, these people went into the Congress and these people went and busted the windows out, did all kinds of crazy stuff that you know your black self wouldn't have been allowed to get three feet from there because they would have gunned you all down. They would have did you like they did the uh, people in the move in Philadelphia. And you already know it. Okay? And so for those of y'all who would get behind somebody that would do something like that and then think it's okay. Because at the end of the day, we're supposed to be a United States. And if we go down, if we either we're going to learn, like I'm going to take a, 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 a quote from the... Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., either we're going to learn to live as brothers. We don't even got to like each other because me and a couple of my brothers, we don't, we don't get along, okay? I love them, but I don't like them, okay? So my point is we can love each other. I love humanity, 
That don't mean I got to get along with uh, all of y'all. So, but either we going to learn to live as brothers or we going to cherish, perish. We're going to perish, I'm sorry, as fools. And this is a close exam example I can get to. Who is the marionette pulling all these strings? This man that committed all kinds of stuff, and then we're going to go dating back to the uh, Central Park Five. And then you got silly black people out here leading the charge of his uh, rebirth into the presidential field. This is all theater, and it's all, it's all so bad. And those of y'all who really call yourself uh, fundamental black Americans, there's no way in the world you can put up with something like this. I don't want nobody that's insane. All of them are sociopaths. We got that uh, uh, clear. But somebody that is clearly freaking insane, who's calling for uh, us to fight, who's calling for violence, who's calling for... The, you don't have no better sense than to get behind somebody like that? Uh, so you voting against your own best interests? Following these people and giving money to their foundations because they're sellouts? No, 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 no. And anybody that want to have the conversation, I'm up for it. Otherwise, there was Judas Iscariot. And I know y'all remember him from the history of the Bible. But there's a lot of people walking around in our community just like that. They've got their palms greased. And now they're about to lead you to the slaughter. They're about to lead you to the slaughter if you got a weak mind. But I'm here to tell you, can't nobody ride your back unless it's bent. And so with that being said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go because I'm going, I'm going off the rails. With that being said, Jan, uh, the January 6th choir, I would never join that. And I would not encourage anybody to join the January 6th choir. Because it is a racist choir. It is a choir against the backbone of America. It's not, it's not something that a, 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 a fundamental black American or an American citizen that sees humanity. We done got all past that. We done fought, to, we done fought through the revolution. We done fought through the civil war. Um... And we're not going to have no another a war over race that y'all let somebody take y'all. As stupid as this stuff is, a construct of something that's not even real to get us all to kill ourselves and blow up the world and do all this on some stuff that ain't even real. I feel sorry for anybody whose mind is that weak. I'm done. With that being said, if you like what you hear, you can subscribe, you can share, you can get mad. But leave your comment below because I certainly would like to hear it. I really would. I'm out.